Hey YouTube, it's Chetmouth here and I have five packs of Matchless Fighters. Also what I'm going to personally refer to as Ichigeki versus Rengeki. <laughs> that's basically what it is. So let's see who, who's going to pull through for us here. Oh. Okay, I like the artwork on the packs being half and half there with the split and the red and the blue. I know it's ridiculous because they're Japanese cards, but it makes me feel kind of patriotic being American. I don't know, someone else can give me their opinion on that, but anytime I see red and blue, I just automatically fill in the white. Oh, that is awesome. So we are starting out strong. Let's see how this goes. All right. Any more V, V maxes? I don't know. Ooh, there's something shiny there. So far, Ichigeki is in the lead. Another one for Ichigeki. Which I may be saying wrong, and I'll feel really bad if I am. But that means I've been saying it wrong for a really long time, so it's probably not going to change. Jeez. Strong wrap. Okay. Let's see. Come on, Rengeki. You're losing here, guys. Hmm? All right. Two more packs. Two more chances for the Rengeki to pull through. And give us something, but I don't know. Ichigeki. Got the beadroll and I think it was Slowbro V. <gasps> Seriously? <laughs> so we just got a double on a rare card. That's what happens when you get just loose packs, is stuff like this happens, but that definitely means that I I just don't see the Rengeki pulling through here. Looks like it's going to be a knockout for the Ichigeki side of things. I'm honestly kind of surprised. Because, yeah, it's random packs, but you'd think it'd be slightly more even than that for pulls. I guess not. And, nope. Still did. All right. It was a landslide. Ichigeki beat out Rengeki on the matchless fighters here with a double up of the beadroll. Alrighty. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was not expecting a landslide on the Ichigeki side, but I mean, as soon as you pull a VMAX on the first pack, you kind of know which way it's going to go. And this just looks so cool. And I'm not seeing like scratches or anything. Like everyone's always talking about the quality of the Japanese cards. And I would have to agree with them. I mean, maybe some whitening on the side over here. But still an amazing card to put in my collection. I am so happy to have this. Hope you guys had fun watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.